I got invited to play at Anfield and I could bring someone with me. I knew I had to bring a proper Liverpool fan to give them their dream day. They'll get changed in the first team dressing room, be managed by a Liverpool legend and collect the ultimate surprise. But first, I had to find a total stranger to join me the day before the game. And to do this, I'll be knocking on doors right outside the stadium. We've come to Anfield Road, the heart of Liverpool Football Club, the murals. I'm talking like a presenter because I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm the one with the camera in their face, like. <laughs> you can run. <laughs> True, and I will. As I walked down the street to find the first door to knock on, the nerves were starting to kick in. Now this is proper nervy. This is actually nervy. This is actually uncomfortable. <sighs> Other side of the street. Excuse me, are you a fan of Liverpool? You are? How big a fan? I'm a Liverpool fan, but... I don't really watch it at the minute. Uh, do you know what I was going to ask you? If you wanted to play at Anfield tomorrow, but you're not the biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> and after being ignored a few times, someone finally answered their door. How's it going? How are you? Do you mind if I ask you a quick question for a minute? What? Are there many Liverpool fans in the house? Yeah, there's a few of us. So tell me this, is there anyone in the, the house who would run around the pitch? Nah, we don't. Nah. So. See that corner, that white house on the corner there? Yeah. Go in there, he might he the front. He's had it before. He'd give it a go. So I listened to the big man and headed back up the street towards the White House, but bumped into someone who I probably scared a little with my direct questioning. Do you know anyone who's a big Liverpool fan who lives in this area? Possibly a few people, yeah. Do you know where they live? <laughs> Why? What do you want to ask them? We're playing in Anfield tomorrow and we have an extra space for someone to join us. So annoying because my brother doesn't live with me and he's a massive fan of Is he? Well. I know another guy, his name's Chris, he lives just here. And do you think he might? Yeah. And Alana sent me? Yeah. Well, you know who you are? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you know who I am. Okay, right. Well, we'll fucking do it. <laughs> Knocking doors isn't fun. Right, so I've got the seal of approval from you? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so she said you're a big Liverpool fan. Hi. Hello. Does Chris live here? He does. Is he here? He is. Can he's I? Head in the fish tank because he's cleaning it. Can I talk to Chris for two seconds? Yep. Alana from up the road sent me. Chris, what's the crack? You look skeptical. Sorry for disrupting your fish cleaning routine. Alana from down the road sent me. Do you know Alana? Yeah. She said you're a big Liverpool fan. Why? What's the what's the for? Well, are you a big Liverpool fan or not? You're not. Yeah. You are. Yeah. So this is what we're doing. We're knocking doors around the area to find someone to play in Anfield tomorrow morning. Do you have any interest in playing in Anfield tomorrow morning? For what? Just go and have a kick about. Are you just taking the piss? I'm not taking the piss. We are being recorded though, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we aren't taking the piss. So tomorrow morning, we have a free space for someone to come and kick a ball around Anfield. Yeah, I'm John, I'm nice to meet you. Have you ever played in Anfield? No, I've obviously been there. I've been on the pitch, in there. I've never played there. I used to love it. Yeah. Honestly, I honestly used to love it. Come on, like, come on from Streel. That's all I used to do. My Arthur used to say, you play too much fuzzy, you need a mm -hmm. life. When I got older, like, my Arthur was disabled, and that's when I sort of slowed down. He was yeah. in a wheelchair, 24 hour care. Like, at, the, at the end of it, so I just stopped playing. Yeah. We found our stranger, and all he knows is that he's playing at Anfield, but it's going to be much more than that. Hello lad, right side whenever you're ready. Before we headed to Anfield, Chris invited me into his home, which had Liverpool stuff absolutely everywhere. Photos on the walls, a bar which was signed by Jan Mulby, and even his new fish tank was Liverpool themed. We set off on our long journey to Anfield, headed up the steps and through the entrance to start Chris's dream day, heading to the first team dressing room. Even I'm like a wee bit like excited and nervous, Never mind. The die-hard Liverpool fans. Oh, get me on Trent. No one take Trent. Oh, you bastard. Do you want Keita or do you want Firmino? I'm always injured. Look at this. And as we were getting changed, we found out we were in different teams. I guess each other looks up. <laughs> Chris's team was made up of the biggest Liverpool collectors on So Rare, and I was on the team trying to spoil their party. This is the Liverpool team I'll be using on So Rare's fantasy football game this season. If you want to start playing, you'll get a free card when you sign up using the link in the description. With the teams decided, it was time for Chris to head out and take his first steps on the Anfield pitch, where with his first touch, he did this. Oh, oh, that's, that's a fucking worldie! That's a worldie! So did you hear you're actually in goals all day? I'm still slow. 
But Chris's day was going to get even better as he was about to meet Liverpool legends Emil Heskey and Robbie Fowler. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice things. This is Chris. Nice to meet you. Okay. How are we getting on? Yeah, good, good. You excited yes. to see? How's it going, man, John? Nice to meet you. Ready for it? Ready to see some world-class football? Of course, That's what I am. How are you doing all right? With kickoff 10 minutes away, it was time to head in for a team talk from our legendary managers. You go and talk about this for the rest of your lives. Uh, and it's, it's much better when you win the game. You don't want to remember coming here and losing the game. <laughs> I'm here to crush your dreams. And after some final words of advice from our managers, we were ready to walk out the iconic tunnel. After supporting Liverpool for his whole life and growing up literally next to the stadium, Chris was about to achieve his childhood dream of playing at Anfield. But I needed to remind him that we were rivals as the team shook hands. <laughs> so with the game underway, both me and Chris were doing everything to get on the ball and make a difference. But despite yes, calling yes. for it constantly, no one was passing to either of us. And after committing the softest foul in history, <laughs> Robbie Fowler subbed off his star man to avoid an early red card. So I told him Chris's story. He lives on Anfield Road, so for our YouTube video we did this week is we knocked doors yesterday. And seen like, right, who's a big Liverpool fan who wants to play tomorrow? So he's got like a Liverpool bar in his house. And now he's playing at Anfield. So we need him to score. His movement's good. He just can't stand it. That's it. That's the one. As Chris struggled to get involved in the game, Fowler gave me some tactical advice. Play a little bit higher. A little yeah. bit higher, but not, not as... You, you know, the false nine. Yeah. Instead of being a striker. With Robbie's advice ringing in my ears, it was time to come on and make a difference. The game wasn't going to plan for Chris, though, but we were going to make his day with a big surprise after the match. I might just be saving it for the tap ins. Fingers crossed, like. It seems 10 times bigger when you're playing on it, like. What do you think of John's play so far? I haven't really seen him. Is he playing? Yeah. <laughs> and Heskey paid the price fast for taking Chris off. My white team put together a great attack with James Alcott crossing it for Haber who put us in the lead. Don't have it the same as I used to. Thank the Lord. With the score at 1-0, team spirit was high and everyone was confident. But the same couldn't be said for Chris's yellow team. What did Emil say to you? Same again. I'm not letting fan though, am I? Still time. And Chris's team's problems got worse when Harry from my team scored this absolute worldie. What is that? That's illegal! It's so good we have to watch it from another angle. Unbelievable. But the gaffer made a change and I needed answers. What was it doing wrong, boss? You didn't do nothing wrong. Oh, okay. No, That's you, good. Actually, I just wanted to take you off because it was easier on them. That's a <laughs> With full time fast approaching and my one opportunity to score at Anfield slipping away, I decided to sneak onto the pitch and strangely, with a man advantage, the chances started flooding in. Focal made it 3 0 with this stunning free kick and then I had this incredible chance from the edge of the box. I saw my name in light! But then it was my time to score 2v1, wide open, onside. But he put it wide instead. Good game. <laughs> Happy with the performance? Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. <laughs> Chris had already had a day to remember, but he was about to receive an incredible surprise. And after chatting and having a laugh over some great food in Liverpool's VIP lounge, it was time to give Chris a gift from So Rare to remember the day forever. That's for you. What's this? It's for the bar. Have a look. That's for the bar anyway. I have to get it hung up. Remind you of the day. Wow. So I'm blown season. away with that, John. So that's for you, love. Thanks for saying yes at the door. <laughs> Thank you for knocking. 